Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest 2K in existence. And look, man, in my travels and tribulations, man, I've come across a lot of randoms. And uh, 99% of the player base who do not know how to dribble, who do not know how to ISO, who do not know how to score off ball, okay? In this dribble tutorial hand cam, current gen and next gen, it is exact same. I will be showing you how to do all the comp moves, become a stage comp PG as simple as possible, bro. I know for some of y'all, might be oh this is all easy you know you might learn something so you might want to watch the full video but in general bro people do not know how to score off dribble bro go play with anyone any random which is majority of the player base they don't know how to do any they don't know how why it is all broken down in this video if you want the best sigs go check out my last video for any build this is for small builds and bigger builds because the dribble moves all work the same i'm showing you how to do it on every k so um yeah y'all drop a like for the uh w to tutorial you know a lot of people don't want this information out there they want to keep beating up on you as easy as possible because they don't have no skill when someone knows exactly what they know that's why i started putting on the whole community with these tutorials in 2k15 man people just want to beat up on bums all day i'm here to give you the knowledge knowledge is power y'all hit that like button if you agree is you hold r2 you don't have to hold r2 but i find it easier to chain withholding r2 if you hold r2 you flick your right analog up and then you're gonna flick your left stick oppo whatever the ball is in and then you continuously keep doing it you see the spider i'm comboing it with the attack size up and the snatch back you see i'm just combining all that to do your attack size up all you do is hold r2 and flick your right analog up and you do it once and then you could do like a spam this is the hardened spam you just uh, keep flicking it up and you can hold R2. This is the Harden spam. That's your attack size up. Burst out either way. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you the behind the back misdirection. Now look, here's the misdirection spam. Man, this is really all fulfilling, but I really do southeast. Like right here, since the ball's in my left hand, I would do southeast on my right stick and then southwest on my left stick while holding R2. I uh, kind of messed it up. I might be explaining it oppo, but y'all can see the stick, right? And you could just spam this uh, or add it to your combos. Now this is probably the fastest speed boost in the game, kinda. Uh, you hold R2 and you flick your right stick like inwards and your left stick inwards. And you'll get this. And then to do it the other way, you you know, y'all see what I'm doing. You just go oppo. And that's the fastest speed boost in the game, right there. Now I'm gonna show you the same side. Basically, you just hold R2 and uh, you could just, you know, stop, say you're left, right, or whatever. You just hold R2 and then you just go. And you, know, you, you would do it again, but you see I'm out of adrenaline. Now look, to do the momentum spam, you're gonna flick your left stick upwards type, um, diagonally upwards while you flick your right stick up. And that's how you like do a momentum. You see, this is how you do a momentum. You don't even have to hold R2. I don't really know how to dribble without R2, kinda. Um, I'm sure it's easier, but you can't chain as good without R2. So this is the way I do it. So I'm holding R2 and then, uh, you see how I just spam momentum? You see how I spam that hole? And then if you wanna throw it between your legs, you have to go lower on your left stick and throw it between your legs and do like a east-west. Now I be lagging online, so I can't like dribble like this cause it's gonna give me some long dumb cross and I'm gonna get ripped. It's mad annoying, the lag delay. 
I don't know how other people like really do it like all the time and don't be getting ripped. I don't know if they like make it to where they don't lag delay, but I don't know. I, I can't do it, bro. Like I'll mess up and y'all see, you see that cross right there. It'll make me do that whole online. That shit is annoying. This shouldn't even be in the game, bro. I don't know what's, what's wrong with that. Mike went to take it out the game, bro. Like, don't you want people to rather dribble like this? It'll make the game way more fun. But you got that stupid ass cross that don't do shit. You feel me? Now to do the spin back, you have to kind of be going um forward. And to do the spin back, you have to say you're going same ball, say you're going left. And you have to bring it from the north and you know go counterclockwise, right? Bang. Bang. You see? Bang. You see? If you're messing up, it's because you're not forward enough. I, I mess up with it all the time. But um, this is the basics on how to do it. I'm sure there's a different trick to always go forward. Because that's how, like, Steezo be spamming that hoe. If y'all got any tips to help people, please uh, comment it down below. Um, and yeah, now look, what, no matter what dribble moves you use, your fastest speed boost is going to be your Northwest or Northeast. Okay. Like this, this is going to be your fastest speed boost. Okay. If you do it like between the legs, just straight West or East, it's not going to be as fast. If y'all didn't know, um, yeah, you want me to show you how to misdirection without the John Moran? I don't know if like this is like a real thing um i'm probably the first one to like figure this out but um you know i got the jordan dribble style on basically what you're going to do is you're not going to hold r2 you're going to flick it your uh your right stick top oppo and then right when you're about to bring it back then that's when you press r2 and you'll get this animation you see that it's not as cold but it's like it kind of serves the same purpose. If you try to do it like you can with Ja Morant and the old way in 22, it's not gonna, you're gonna get a slow animation. Uh, uh that kind of worked. Well, no, it didn't. Um, like basically, damn. I don't know. That, you're gonna get that slow shit. You can, you y'all see what I'm doing, right? You could get the misdirection with other shit. You just got to do it in a, a, a sneaky way. You see that's sneaky. Damn. So the John Morant might not be as useful if you can really like get it every time. You see that, you know, cheese God Swan show y'all is how to dribble faster. Okay. It's like a glitch. You could do it on all builds. Um, I hear it's not above 610 trends found this. Um, I don't know. People choose who they be giving uh, credit to. <laughs> you know, I done found so much stuff over the years, these years, but they never give me my credit. My boy is crazy. But look, all you have to do is hold R2 and you're going to hold your right analog southwest or southeast, whichever the ball hand is in. And you're going to do this. After you do this, it's going to activate a speed glitch. You got to reset it after every possession. Um, now, I don't know this for sure, but um for smaller guards six four and under i believe it's kyle Lowry you have to have on and for bigger guards i believe it's jason tatum i don't know if you can use devin booker okay so if y'all know let me know but after you do that for the whole possession you basically move stupid fast okay like you see that like you you see that like that's not normal speed bro <laughs> okay you could just speed boost around and you're super fast now the second move i want to show you which is like the best move for a three in the game but you have to have the jamorian dribble style on is the front misdirection just like the 2k22 all you're going to want to do is flick your hand north oppo ball hand and then just go the same way you had the ball okay so you're gonna you see you see that glitch like but this is the no one's used to it okay this is a you know, kill him, 
done. Okay, this is my new like favorite move. Now I'm gonna show you how to properly walk back, man. Now how you walk back is you act like you're going to go dunk and then what you have to do is you have to hold your left stick southeast or southwest. It can't just be straight back like at last year's. Like for instance, like I'm gonna go, um, now look, to properly walk back, you have to get deep in the paint, right? And then you go like watch i'm gonna give you an example like look and then you and it gives you a fast walk back the defense is so bad that you can walk back at that speed and have a three it's crazy but you only use your left stick you don't do nothing else you just stop you let go of everything and then you go back okay it has to be in unison you, you saw where my my left stick was i'll do it again one more time now to do what they call the ass to slide, you just move forward north and just flick your right analog stick back and uh, you do this, okay? If you want my SIGs, it's in my last video. I have all the best SIGs for all the best heights and best, for every build you can use, I go over the SIGs completely. Go watch that video and you'll understand. But yeah, you just flick it and you ask to slide and that's the move that's being used. Now look, I'm gonna show y'all how to do the adrenaline glitch too. Just hold on. Now to do the Kyle Lowry glitch back, you do the ass to slide and then you hold your, your right stick down again. You see, you see that teleport? Like I just flick it with no turbo. I flick my right analog stick down with no turbo. And then when I wanna activate the big hop back, that's like a three every time or something. Uh. I hold R2 and the right stick down. You see? Kills them. You teleport back fast and they're not going to be ready for it. Now, to not lose adrenaline ever again, okay? You might see comp guards like comp, pro am people, how they're not losing adrenaline is say you do a move. You see how I didn't lose adrenaline? You can't go far, right? You can just go and then. You can make people think that you ran out of adrenaline when you really didn't because if you spam the shorts the short movement then you know you can really mess people up you see you see how i'm not losing adrenaline now if you combo it do all this other movement you know and then you like you go now i'm messing it up i have not practiced it i don't really like to do this because i don't want to like mess up the game <laughs> but it's getting out there man that's basically how you lose no adrenaline like look you see how i'm losing no adrenaline now it could be mastered all that other stuff now look i'm gonna show you the snatch back the easiest way i do it y'all let me know your way i hold r2 and then i just flick the right analog up and the left stick down and then that's how you get the snatch back and you can spam it it's a very good move man you, can, you know you could combo and you don't lose adrenaline when you do it y'all let me know what else y'all want to see down below um what you need tutorials on what you need help with any other type of dribble moves i can go way more in depth with stuff on how like i iso and do stuff you know just let me know down below i'll help y'all out badges with whatever y'all need man let me know build i am the greatest i am the most knowledgeable y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you know hit that like button make sure you follow my twitch link is in the description go check out my other videos and uh click one of these two videos man but hey hey here we go again yeah. here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm at made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome dome